The Continue button in RISE 360 is generally used for breaking up long sections of content. The way it works by default is by hiding anything that's after the button. Until you click on it, then the button disappears and reveals more content. What's helpful to know is this button has a setting that allows you to restrict navigation. This means that you can configure a lesson so that someone taking this course is prompted to complete interactive and multimedia blocks. Start by inserting a Continue button by going to the block library under Divider. Now we'll edit the Continue button. Under Completion Type, you'll see that there's three different options. None is the default behavior. Select one of the other two to restrict navigation for a single or multiple blocks. When you do so, you'll have a chance to change the label on the button, as well as the hint text that displays. We typically change the hint text with detailed instructions. Now when your learner encounters this content, they'll see the hint and only be able to proceed once they complete the interaction. This can be used for things like flip card interactions, checklists, or even videos. It's a great feature and we hope you found this tip helpful.